Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. The last few days I've been a little under the weather, feeling like crap, and I'm still not feeling too well. But today I wanted to show you guys Dreamcast running on the HP Chromebox using Laka. Now I got this a few months ago for a super good deal on Craigslist. You can pick these up anywhere from $60 to $80 on eBay. This one has 2 gigabytes of RAM and an Intel Celeron dual core, two 995U CPU clocked at 1.4 gigahertz with an Intel HD GPU built in that does turbo up to 1000 megahertz. We're going to try out some Dreamcast games here because I've had a few requests. Uh, unfortunately, I can't you know, show you guys the music like always. I keep getting flagged on these videos with copywritten music. So I'm going to lay a track over this. Let's get into it. First game we're going to test is Marvel vs. Capcom 2. The FPS is listed at the lower left hand corner. And this game should run at 50 to 60 FPS. Yeah, I kind of feel the slowness when I jump. It's not too bad, but it is a bit slow. Overall performance is not that bad. This game does feel a little bit slow, so let's move on to another game and see how it performs. Now, possibly in the future, this core is gonna be updated and we'll get full speed out of this, but for now, it's a bit slow. Here we have Sonic Adventure 2, and hopefully it runs a little better than Marvel vs. Capcom. I'm not sure if it's going to. Yeah, so far it's actually running fairly well. I'm very surprised at how smooth it is. So this game should run at 60 FPS and it's very close to that 60 FPS mark. Let's get in down here a little bit and see how it performs when we're killing some bots and running around. Yeah, this game should be pretty playable for you. Like I was saying, um, if you see now, we're at 60 FPS in the lower left-hand corner. It runs very well on this little Chrome box. Pretty good emulation, actually. Next game we're going to be moving on to is San Francisco Rush 2049. So whenever I test this game out on Android or other lower end hardware, there's a lot of graphical glitches going on in the sky. I don't see any of that right now. This should have run at 60 FPS, we're only at 53, but it's definitely playable at this frame rate.
One thing I do notice with the recast core is in this game, San Francisco Rush 2049, it cuts the top of the screen off. I guess it's a bug with the emulator. It doesn't bother me that much. Um, I'm not really worried about my speed and everything like that. So other than that, performance is pretty good. So the last game we're going to test in this video is Virtua Tennis. A lot of people love this game. It's actually really fun to play. I'm not sure what this ran at on the original hardware, but I did choose 50 hertz when we started the game. So it should run at 50 FPS. We're only at, well, actually, yeah, there we go. We're up to 50. And it feels very smooth, very playable frame rate. And this is a fun game. I'm not into tennis or any kind of sports really, but this is really fun to play. So I know a lot of people want to see Shamu running on here. This morning I don't have time. I will make a video this weekend on part one and part two running on this Chrome box. If you have any more requests on this Chrome box, let me know in the comments below. And I'll add a few more games to the mix. I've just been feeling really bad lately and I really need to get some rest. Um, hopefully later on tonight I'll be able to make some more videos. But for now, I gotta go guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. I got a lot more coming and if you have requests, let me know. I'll try my hardest to get to them as soon as possible. Like always, thanks for watching.